Hey you guys, it's Jessica. Um, so basically, I'm in the middle of doing a coconut oil treatment. And I figured, hey, let me record for you guys and update you while I'm doing this. Um, so basically, I do a coconut oil treatment probably about once a month. I try to do it more in the winter months just because my hair tends to be a little bit drier. Um, but I don't really do anything special. This is a fourth day wash and go. I don't detangle first just because it really makes no sense to detangle. If I'm going to detangle, I might as well get in the shower and just wash it. So I just put it in sections and go through and add coconut oil like so um, and just go section by section. Uh, so yeah, I've done this half of my hair. This half of my hair is all coated and now I just have this little front piece. And I'm just using regular uh, organic coconut oil. This is not extra virgin. Um, this actually isn't the brand that I like to use uh, most of the time, but it was out of stock when I went to the store. So I just grabbed this one next to it thinking it was, you know, just another extra virgin coconut oil, but it's not. It's, um, it's refined, but it is organic. So we'll see if there's a difference. Um, I really don't think there will be, but we'll see. So, yeah, where have I been? What have I been doing? We haven't seen you, you're live, all that good stuff. Uh, so last time I made a video, I was actually at home on vacation, and I did that haul video for you guys. Um, so, basically, I had, my vacation was awesome, I had a really good time, um, got to catch up with my family and stuff, uh, so, you know, good times and all. So, uh, apparently I come back to work and a lot of things had happened. Um, basically, for instance, two of the people that I work with were actually leaving. Uh, one was fired. One, uh, we knew she was leaving, but uh, we didn't expect this other person to be fired so soon. So basically, the one girl that I work with, who is also my friend, I know her, I went to school with her, uh, she got offered in a, a research assistantship position. So we knew she was leaving, um, and my boss actually had hired someone to replace her, a part-time person. And then this other guy that I work with, who I started with in January, me and him started together, um, you know, he just really hasn't been working out. He, like, constantly did everything wrong. He was telling people the wrong information, which, you know, I hate because not only do you waste their time, you're wasting our time, our paperwork, our, like, resources. And I was not getting paid to do his job and my job because we would always have to go back and check over his work and, like, redo everything. So, um... It became really apparent when we got this new girl and he just, he, we couldn't leave him alone with her because he was telling her all the wrong information and all this, all this kind of crap. Um, and the therapist actually would come to us and be like, what, why is this like note here? Why is my client rescheduled for the wrong time and whatnot? And everything would just generally be wrong. So, you know, after nine months, he should know. You know, we've been there for nine months. He should know what goes on. Our, my job isn't that, you know, hard where it's rocket science or anything. I mean, you do have to be able to interact with people and be able to use common sense. But I mean, it it ain't that it ain't that tough to do. As I'm getting coconut oil all over myself, and yes, you'll want to use obviously a uh, an old shirt because as you can see, I have oil everywhere. Um, so yeah, I guess he was picking up the bad juju or whatever because my boss wasn't planning to fire him um, for like another month So until or until we got like someone new to actually replace him. Uh, but I guess he felt the bad juju and he ended up going into her office um, one afternoon and was like, you know, what's going on? Is something, am I doing stuff wrong? Like I get, I'm getting a bad vibe basically. Um, so she just, you know, went ahead and was straightforward with him and told him, and he was, and she was like, it makes no sense for me to tell you all this stuff now, and then wait to fire you, so, she went ahead and let him go that day. So, basically, that left little old me, um, and the other girl that was hired is work-study, so she can only work, like, ten hours a week or something. Um, she has, like, a set time that she can work by the university, um, and that's 
only during the time or her schedule only allows her to work during the times when I'm there and it's also like super slow. So essentially we have someone, um, you know, that's not necessarily getting paid, but we have someone working who is not really covering the shifts that need to be covered. So that leaves it to me. And I've basically been working like 60 hours a week almost. Um, although I'm not complaining about that because I'm getting a third more than what I did make and I also got a raise. So how you doing? Um, but yeah, so I've been busy with that. Um, and we're actually having trouble finding someone to fill these, um, cause we're just trying to hire one more person right now. So we're having some trouble trying to find people to fill the position, but we're, we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, so then over the summer, I was actually looking for volunteer positions to do something with like kids, uh, working with kids or something, you know, like big brothers, big sisters or something, something to that effect just because, um, I mean, I, my career or what I eventually want to do end up working with kids and I kind of need, you know, that on my resume that I've worked with kids before, before I applied to a graduate program and they're like, uh, so you want to apply here, but you haven't worked with kids before? Uh, so yeah, I was looking for places, I was looking for places, and nobody was calling me back, and I was just like, whatever, and I kind of forgot about it, um, with this whole fiasco going on after I got back on vacation, and then I think a week or two after I got back from vacation, I got this phone call saying, you know, so-and-so, who was a therapist that I work with, told me about you, we really are interested in you, would you be willing to start work this week? Um, for us and it's actually with a women's refuge house uh, so it deals with battered and um, abused women and children from you know domestic violence bad relationships all that kind of jazz so I was like uh, yes <laughs> um, it's really actually an ideal place to work or I volunteer I don't get paid from there but um, to work because I actually have had some abuse or I have been in some abusive relationships in the past so it kind of hits a little bit close to home for me but um yeah I jumped right on that and then I think a couple days after that I got another phone call saying hey we heard about you from so and so you know we really like to bring you in and just kind of get some more info but we really ideally like to bring you on um and help us and this is with an autistic kids center and I'm like yes yes definitely most definitely yes um so there was all that and you know this was right before beknownst to me that all this crap was going to hit the fan right so um of course a couple days later or i think a week later um i accepted both of these positions i had started working with them and then we were down two people so <laughs> i was like well I can't just go in and be like, I know I just started, but can I not come for a while and then come back until my situation's, uh, you know, figured out? Because they specifically wanted me to come on because I had, you know, knowledge and skills of what they needed someone to do because I've done it within um, prior research positions like data coding and like videography and like various data collection techniques. So I had done that before and they couldn't find anybody who had done it before. So, which is another reason why they, you know, called me and were so excited. Hey guys, sorry, I got a phone call and I had to like rush off and see who it was. But, um, so yeah, now I'm currently working in three or no, I'm working in two volunteer placements and I'm still working at work. <laughs> um, and basically it's just me at work working by myself so obviously the bulk of my time and you know effort and energy is going into work right now um uh so yeah that's why I've been kind of scarce it's not that you know I've just purposely abandoned you guys it's just because honestly I come home and I physically die <laughs> I mean I think I work somewhere almost close to 80 hours a week which my mother is like you're going to kill yourself but I don't mind it I like being busy and I like what I'm doing so I mean obviously that helps a lot but yeah so I haven't abandoned you guys I'm actually gonna try to get some videos out uh, this weekend because I do have a little bit of downtime um, 
and I may try to get some out on Monday because I actually have half a day off on Monday because I'm actually over hours and my boss is like, you know what, just just stay home. I will work. <laughs> stay home. Um, just because I'm not in a salaried position, so as long as I'm working, I'm getting paid, but at the same time, I'm going over my hours, uh, so I can't put uh, after like so many hours on my timesheet, and I'm having to like divvy up my hours and add them in weird ways and you know my boss is concerned that I'm going to start forgetting how many hours I'm working so since she's salaried and all of her overtime goes into vacation time um she has you know said she would work some of my shift so I just don't go completely crazy um but yeah that's that's pretty much it uh what else is going on oh I had a birthday uh, as of September 8th, I am now 23 years old. Um, I don't really feel 23, <laughs> which everyone tells me is a good thing, but yeah, there's that. But yeah, this is pretty much my hair, um, detangled, well not detangled, I didn't detangle it, but it's got coconut oil all through it, and I can already feel it kind of detangling itself, so yeah. I'm essentially going to put this, and actually I'm going to put a little bit more on my ends because my ends feel really dry right now. I don't know why, but they feel really dry. Um, what else? What else? What else has been going on? I've been watching you guys' videos. I've been commenting when I can, so I haven't completely abandoned YouTube. Um, but, yeah, I think I was tagged, I have a tag video I have to do, which I'm really excited about the tag, <laughs> I wanted to do the tag, I was actually going to do it, um, and then I discovered that she tagged me, so, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I have a whole bunch of review videos for you guys, um, Kaya Alexandria is one of them, um, I have some more like drug stall, drug stall, drug store type uh, reviews and stuff. Some stuff I've been trying. Um, I have a gel nails tutorial for you guys because uh, some of you commented on my last video saying you wanted to see it. Um, oh, I'm also gonna probably come up soon with a flat ironing straight hair tutorial just because I'm um, it's that time of the year when I'm getting that itch to do it and a year ago like back last November I told you guys that I would make you one <laughs> and the reason why I haven't made a video is because I honestly haven't straightened my hair since last November so I'm not completely ignoring you it's just that you know it's hard to make a straight hair video when my hair is not straight so be on the lookout for that if you're interested um, yeah that's that's it. I'm actually going to leave this in overnight and shampoo deep, or shampoo condition and deep condition tomorrow. And um, yeah, hopefully make a couple videos this weekend for you guys. So as always, questions, comments, leave them below. If you have any uh, requests or anything, you can of course always feel free to ask me that. Um, and I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.